today I'm going to teach you how to make Aunt Petunia's pudding, the famous cake from the Harry Potter films. This is the same cake that was featured in the second film, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, before Dobby smashed it and got Harry in trouble. It's made up of delicious light vanilla sponge, filled with chocolate ganache and decorated with buttercream and cherries. Perfect for your next dinner party when you're trying to impress your husband's work boss, right? We're going to begin with the vanilla cake. This is really easy to make. You're going to add some butter and sugar to a large mixing bowl. Today I'm using my stand mixer because we're making quite a large batch of cake. So using one of these is much easier. If you're not using one of these, I would recommend splitting the recipe in half and making it twice. You're going to cream those two ingredients together and then we're going to be adding four large eggs one at a time, mixing each time. Once you have them all in there, we are going to be sifting in half of our flour along with our baking powder, salt, half of the milk, and of course you want to make sure if you're a little bit clumsy like me that you clean up as you go. We're going to mix these ingredients on low speed until everything is well combined. Then we're going to add the remaining flour, some oil, the remaining milk, some Greek yogurt and some vanilla extract. Mix those ingredients until your batter is nice and smooth and you can't see any dry ingredients. Stop your mixer and scrape down your bowl and mix for a final 30 seconds. Your batter should be perfectly smooth. We're going to spray and line the bottom of a 10 inch cake tin with some oil spray and baking paper. Add some of your batter in there, filling it up just below halfway. Then you're going to need to fill up three 6 inch cake tins with the remaining batter distributing them evenly amongst the cake tins. These are going to go in the oven on 140 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. Once they're baked, let them cool down completely. We're going to be filling our cake with chocolate ganache. So to make the ganache, you're going to add some dark chocolate, some cream, and you're going to microwave this for 30 seconds at a time, stirring each time until it's nice and smooth. You'll need to let this set at room temperature before you can use it for the cake. Speaking of cake, our cakes have baked and cooled and we're ready to trim the tops off. I'm using a cake leveler to level off or trim off the top of my cake where it's domed just to make sure that it's nice and flat, which makes stacking the cake much easier and neater. You want to do the same to the 6 inch cake and these are all the cake layers we're left with. Add a little bit of that set chocolate ganache to a cake board or serving plate and add your first 10 inch layer of cake. You're going to add some frosting on top of that and spread it around nice and evenly. Then add your 6 inch layered cake on top. Repeat that until you have the remaining 2 layers on top. Add some more frosting on top and we're going to spread this around the side. It doesn't have to look perfect because we're going to be covering this with buttercream. Speaking of buttercream, we are going to be using my American buttercream frosting today. If you want to learn how to make that, the recipe is available on thescranline.com. Add some green food gel to one third of the buttercream, mix that until it's evenly combined, and then to the second third you're going to be adding some purple and pink food gel. You're going to leave the remaining third as white frosting, and you're going to add this to a piping bag fitted with a star tip. We're going to pipe some rings around the cake. Aunt Petuna's cake is actually made out of meringue, I think, but we're making ours out of cake, so I just want to mimic that meringue sneaking in between the layers. I believe that Aunt Fortuna also uses whipped cream instead of buttercream, but we're going to be using buttercream today because whipped cream is not very stable. Pipe some roses around the bottom of your cake. Then you're going to pipe some purple frosting in the second middle layer. Add some little green blobs on that. 
add some green blobs on the top layer and some purple blobs in between the gaps. Add a little bit more frosting on top of the cake and we're going to pipe some purple swirls on top to finish it. Our finishing touches are some maraschino cherries. If you can't find these where you are, you can use glacé cherries. Then we're going to finish this off with some purple flower candies. And guys, this looks pretty much exactly the same as Aunt Petunia's pudding from the film, don't you think? I even got it to float. If you enjoyed watching today's video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It really helps my channel out. If you'd like to see more recipes from me, they're up on screen right now. Click on those and the recipe for this is in the description box below. It can be found on my website, thescranline.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.